Uh, today we are going to talk about medulla oblongata, right? But uh, an important point which I would highlight that as we will discuss the uh, medulla and then pons and midbrain, uh, before this you must watch the videos uh, related with the brain stem. Brain stem video number one, two, and three, in which I have explained the basic layout of the structures in brain stem and how the different nuclei are positioned at different levels of brain stem, right? So now we will talk about the medulla. Already you know that where exactly medulla is present in central nervous system? Yes, medulla is part of the brain stem, right? Here is your medulla, this structure, right? Now, medulla basically is lower part of the brain stem, right? And it belongs to the rhomban cephalon. Rhomban cephalon means with the hind brain, right? When we talk about brain stem, what are the three structures in brain stem? The three structures of brain stem are, yes, midbrain, and there is pons, and there is medulla. But when we talk about the hind brain, then midbrain is not part of the hind brain. Then hind, the hind brain has, what is this? Pons, medulla, and cerebellum. Again. It's worth repeating that when we are talking about medulla oblongata, it is included within the brain stem because brain stem has midbrain, pons, and medulla. And at the same time, when we talk about the hind brain, right? Hind brain or the rhomban cephalon, again medulla is part of rhomban cephalon. The three structures in rhomban cephalon are pons, medulla, and cerebellum. Now, medulla basically extend from what is this point? Ponto medullary sulcus, right? So it medulla extend from ponto medullary sulcus, yeah, from superiorly and extend downward up to what level? Up to pyramidal decussation. Up to pyramidal decussation. This is a side view. Let me draw the frontal view of the brain stem. This is the anterior view of the brain stem midbrain, pons, medulla, and of course then there is, what is it? Spinal cord, right? And when we are talking about these structures, yeah, what is this? Ponto medullary junction. This is ponto medullary junction. And here it is, pyramids, olives. Right. So when you view the medulla from the front, again, first of all, you must know its extension. That medulla extends from the ponto. This is this is the point. Ponto medullary sulcus superiorly and below it keep on extending up to what is this decussation? Who will tell me? What is this decussation? Pyramidal decussation. Is that right? This is one thing. Secondly, an important relationship, surface relationship of medulla is that when you view it from the front, it has two longitudinal medial, medial swelling, right? These two swellings are called pyramid. And on lateral to the pyramid, there are two more swellings, right? And these swellings are called olives, right? Again, there is a central sulcus. On the side of that, there are pyramidal swellings. And on the side of that, there are olivary swelling and from the olives more laterally if you move right from medulla what are these structures which are going towards the cerebellum yes please what are these structures yeah these are inferior cerebral peduncle a few words about peduncles now if you look at the brain stem from the side Right, and here is your cerebellum, of course. Here is front. Now, here is brain stem. Actually, the fibers, the white matter bundle, which connect the medulla with the, what is this, cerebellum. This bundle is called inferior cerebral peduncle. Then there is a white matter bundle, which connect the pons with the, what is this, 
cerebellum. And this green bundle which connects the pons with the cerebellum, this is called? This is called? Middle, middle cerebral peduncle. And then this is blue bundle which connects the midbrain with the cerebellum. And what is this called? Superior cerebral peduncle. Is that right? So what we can say that brain stem is connected with the cerebellum through how many peduncles? Three on the right side and three on the left side. Six peduncles. There are two superior cerebral peduncle, two inferior cerebral peduncle, uh, middle cerebral peduncle and two inferior cerebral peduncles, right? And these peduncles are acting as a communication channels between the brain stem and the cerebellum. Is that right? Now, we go into detail structure of medulla. Look, when we talk about the medulla, let me draw medulla here. Right? And we are talking about its internal structure. The art of understanding is, rather than trying to memorize the thing, first you should divide all the structure of medulla in following way. Number one, all the structures which are going from down to up. Ascending systems. All the systems which are passing from the lower part of the medulla to the upper part or passing through the medulla upward. Then there are downgoing systems. Right? And then there are posterior connections. And of course, last but not the least, anterolateral connections. Right? Again, when we are going to talk about medulla, right? One of the easy way to talk about medulla is what are the structures which are passing through the medulla upward and downward? Of course, structures which are going from down to up, these are ascending systems through the medulla. And there are structures which are going from top to down. These are descending systems through medulla. So, they are ascending systems through medulla as well as they are descending systems through medulla. And then there are posterior systems of medulla and there are anterolateral systems of medulla. Now, it's very logically to understand that when we talk about the ascending system, the many wide bundle fibers which are going from lower level through the medulla to the upper level of the brain. So, naturally ascending system should be, what type of function of ascending systems? All of them should be sensory. All of them should be sensory because sensations are collected by the body to the central nervous system and then sensations are taken upward. So, all the pathways which pass through the medulla and they are going upward, they must be considered sensory system. Is that right? Then all the pathways which are descending through the medulla, right from higher level of the brain stem going down to spinal cord, passing through the medulla, they must be considered motor system. So it means when we talk about medulla or we talk about palms or we talk about the midbrain, we should talk about ascending system then descending systems or we should talk about sensory systems upgoing and motor systems downgoing. Is that right? Then of course, we should talk about posterior connections. Posterior connections are cerebral connections. Is that right? And last but not the least, the anterolateral connections. Anterolateral connections are cranial nerves. Anterolateral connections are cranial nerve. This is a basic way how should we should learn all the components. Either you talk about the midbrain or you talk about the pond or you talk about medulla. Always talk. There are ascending systems which are sensory systems. There are descending systems which are motor systems, right? And then there are posterior systems which are cerebral systems, cerebral connections and the anterolateral systems which are the cranial nerve systems. Right? And then of course, there are few unique points related with uh, medulla. Right? So, let us start now medulla in detail. That again, we will talk about sending systems, descending system, then cerebral systems and cranial nerve system in relation to medulla. But before I really go into detail of the system, you must be knowing that brain stem has a structure called reticular formation and medulla also has reticular formation. Let's suppose this is a frontal view. You're looking from the front to the brain stem. Yeah. Pyramids, pyramid, olive, pons and midbrain, right? Now, 
वेयर इज रेडिकुलर फॉर्मेशन सिचुएटेड इन दिस डायग्राम हु विल टेल मे हैव यू हर्ड ऑफ दैट दिस रेडिकुलर फॉर्मेशन राइट हैव यू हर्ड ऑफ रेडिकुलर फॉर्मेशन वेयर एग्जैक्टली इन द ब्रेन स्टेम रेडिकुलर फॉर्मेशन इज प्रेजेंट yeah it is central deep central position that's right so if i make a simpler diagram okay i will remove some of its feature to make the position of radicular formation more clear here is your midbrain 